Welcome back YouTube, we have Ahmed here from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in this video I'm gonna share with you uh, some issues I faced with the second beta of Android Q and also uh, some new changes that I didn't mention before in my previous video so let's get started. The first issue I had uh, and the most annoying one for me is when you take a picture with the camera let's try this so here is a photo for, for a plant and if you go to preview your photo from the camera app it stays for two seconds and then crashes and give you a black screen okay so that is the first issue I couldn't manage to fix this one uh, and it doesn't go away it's still persist persisting and I made sure that all the permissions are given for the camera app and it's still not working also if you go to the photos app you will see you will, you will not see it here under the normal uh, location of any photo you take um, previously before and the second beta of Android um, and also I made sure that I have all the permissions available for the photos app I made I gave it all the permission like music photos and videos uh, it only appears if you go to albums you will see a new album called camera and this album is empty and it doesn't recognize the previous photos you took with your phone and it has this little SD card icon if you tap on it it will give you a location that I couldn't manage to reach uh, from the files app okay uh, also if you open this photo and try to delete it it will give you an error message that the photos app doesn't have access to, to delete items on SD card so I'm not sure what does it mean by SD card the pixel 3 XL doesn't have one but it seems like Google uh, changed something when it comes to the storage okay if you want to back it up you need to back it up separately because it will be a separate album so you need to switch this uh, slider on um, so the only way to get around this and delete a photo that you have taken before is you go to the files app and refresh you will see the photo right here okay if you hit delete it will delete it for you refresh again it's gone all right so the only way to delete a photo after installing the second beta of android q is from the files app another issue i faced here is when someone sent me a text message uh, i don't receive any notifications and when i open the messages app i see the message appearing here unread so i didn't know that someone sent me a text message but after going to settings and I tried to make sure that the notifications are switched on I had this option previously unticked and every time I take it and go out of settings or notifications and go back I see it unticked again and the issue is still persisting so to be able to solve this issue you need to go to system and then advanced reset options and reset app preferences if you did uh, if you do this reset app preferences the messages app will work back again as normal so if you impacted by this issue those are the steps to fix it the other issue here is with the screen recording and as you know in the previous beta google introduced the new screen recording where you can activate under settings system and you need to have the developer options active and then go to feature flags and switch on settings screen record long press okay if you activated that and hit the power key and press and hold on the screenshot it will give you the option to screen record and it will give you this uh, warning before starting the screen recorded but but if you do that it doesn't work and is still not working in the second beta of uh, Android Q however if you try to stop the recording the whole system crash and previously uh, or people know that to get around this you need to um, restart your phone however I found another uh, easier way to stop it from recording is by hit press and hold on the notification hit the I and force to stop the system UI and hit OK it will stop recording and you don't need to restart your phone beside the issues that i mentioned earlier there are also some other changes that i really like uh, in the second beta of android q is when you connect a bluetooth headset like the one i have here once it gets connected 
okay? And you give it a couple of, of seconds and go to settings. You will see here a new slice showing you the connected Bluetooth device and instead of going to connected devices to see it. So it appears right in the first page and it also shows you the battery percentage. And the second change also I saw here is when you switch off Wi-Fi and go to settings maybe it needs a couple of seconds let's try again yeah when you go to settings it will show you that the wi-fi is switched off however if you turn that on from the same page it will show you a quick preview of the available network networks where you can connect from here instead of going to uh, again network and then wi-fi and then uh, look for the network you want to connect to so that's also an easier shortcut for you. Another small visual change here is when you change your wallpaper to a very bright one. For example, I will, I will use this white wallpaper. I noticed that around the folders there is a kind of a border, a black border, even if you have uh, your phone on the light theme and instead of the dark theme, you still get this black ring around each folder which makes it easier for you to see the folder when you are using a very bright background. Uh, I checked other videos that showing the same background on previous versions of uh, Android and I didn't see this ring showing. Also when you play music and have the always on display uh, enabled, now you see a bigger text showing uh, the name of the song and the band uh, and instead of having a small text and it's all uh, uh, beside each other so it's now in two different lines and the name of the song is bigger okay so that's also another change in the second beta another visual change here if you updated your feedback uh, application for android beta program uh, and go to uh, the settings you will now have enable dark dark theme which makes the application dark and I really like the dark mode especially when it comes to text because it's uh, easier for your eyes to read. So that's pretty much it for today. I hope you like my video and if you do please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and if you have more issues or stuff that I didn't show in this video please share with me in the comments. I will try to find fixes or workarounds for them and share with you in another video. So thank you for watching and have a great day.